So this is what your God chart. When you see the God chart, what comes to your mind? What comes to your mind? It looks similar to our speedometer in our bike or car, right? It looks similar to our speedometer. It is also called as a dial chart. So it uses uh, the needle to uh, you know read the data on it, okay? And it shows the information on a dial, okay? So this um, God chart shows the minimum. This is your minimum. Uh, this is your minimum. This is your maximum and uh, current value so it will show the current value against the target value okay so it is uh, you know we use gantt chart to represent kpi so what do you mean by kpi key performance indicator so what is the uh, you know sales right so how much sales we made what is the revenue what is the net margin these are all the simple kpis we'll discuss about various uh, the, you know kpis i'll give you some examples for the kpis you don't worry okay and um, yeah so we will uh, directly jump into the power bi desktop it is that you know it is that much simple we don't have to understand too many things around gauge chart i just minimize it don't worry we will discuss about the design principles everything later okay and the next one is I'll just make it a little bit bigger. Next, God chart. Where you can find the God chart? Uh, this is what my God chart. Somewhere you'll find something like this, the speedometer. This is my uh, God chart. I just uh, click on it once. I can see a uh, dummy data, right? The God chart got created with the dummy data. Here, what I do is I just simply take the sales here. It's that much simple. I just drag and drop it here. And this is what my minimum value, this is what my maximum value, okay? And what I do is uh, in the value, I just, uh, the sales, I just simply dragged and dropped it into this visual itself. And you can see that in the value uh, field got filled with or the value section got filled with sales column and in addition to that we can see the minimum value and maximum value this is very specific to God chart so minimum value we can define the minimum value instead of defining it here you can go to the format thing and then you just uh, go and uh, click on you know the general properties not here so in the visual you have a gauge axis okay you have minimum maximum target you can see the three values are see if you have uh, something like um, the minimum value and maximum value if that is available in your data set itself as a columns you can simply drag and drop it in my case i don't have any column uh, you know wherein i can simply drag and drop it here hence what i do is i just go to the property and i just click expand the gauge axis here i go and specify the minimum sales supposed to be 5 million Otherwise, it is not acceptable. 5 million. Look here. Now, minimum sales is 5 million. It got reduced. 11.30 is my 11 million sales I achieved. It. The minimum sales supposed to be 5 million. And then the maximum sales supposed to be 25 million. Something like that. Or, uh, you know, I don't want to be too greedy. Uh, let's say, you know, 20 million. Okay. And if I go here the target and uh, here if i specify let's you know um, 10 million So 20 million, this is 5 million, 20 million maximum, minimum sales supposed to be 5 million, maximum sales supposed to be 20 million and target should be 10,000, right? So with this, uh, we are able to measure, right? So it's, basically it helps us to uh, understand the progress in relation to the goal. So what is my goal? I need to achieve the sales by 10 million. Now we are way beyond the uh, goal, right? So we are able to uh, you know perform above the target set by the management so this is the minimum sale maximum sale you need to achieve it 
though you we cannot uh, achieve the maximum sales at least we are um, you know performed just above the target right so we are uh, performed uh, that one so you know with with this uh, see we 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 can uh, so when when can i use gauge chart so if you want to track a total or achievement level or percentage for a single data value over a period of time you can use this one and also you can go to the format label and you can play around with some colors the target color you can say something like you know red color or something like that so this is my target and okay i now we are we are across the thing right so you can specify like that okay and font color only this one fill color uh, and um, font color this is my fill color how much sales we right it, it helps us to understand this is the sales blue color one also you can uh, change it to different colors okay whatever the color you want it you can change for this also and needle color also you can specify it and that is what you can do it with this one and also you start explore uh, you know other properties around uh, this one so that's all uh, your target label uh, values uh, you know how you know the for this one the font size everything nothing big okay so if you this is more than sufficient so if you change the color you can change it okay and that is the one thing you can do it so that you can improve the look and feel of this one okay so now you understood uh, what is gauge chart and how to create a gauge chart in power bi desktop and next we'll take a look at uh, the waterfall chart